What is up my veggies? My name is VeggieTales Raymond and welcome back to another video and today we're doing another little standalone game. Today we're going to be playing a game called The Shadow That Runs That Run Along Our Car. Now I did have this game on my computer for a while and I've been meaning to get around to playing it, but it's been on here for a while, like I'm not going to lie. And I've been looking forward to playing it ever since I downloaded it. Um, so it's kind of like a visual novel type thing, but not really a visual novel. You'll see when we get started. So let's go ahead and click start here. Whose eyes will you see? You want to see through his eyes or her eyes? She kind of looks like Paradot from Steven Universe. But he he looks pretty cool too. Oh, I don't know. Let's go through Paradot's eyes. I know it's not Paradot, but she kind of looks like Paradot. All right, gun it. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird sitting on this side of the car, but my stomach is. My stomach's been feeling off for a, for a while now. I, I just can't drive. And I do think this is like a zombie apocalypse type thing. I think. So. I've handed my keys to the stranger. To the stranger. Uh oh. What's the worst that can happen, right? I stood out the window watching the un unchanging scenery whiz by. There's an awkward silence, but I don't, but I don't feel like, uh, but I don't feel like filling in, filling it. So stuffy in the car. I reach for the window con control button and let the window roll open. I'm gonna give this guy a voice. You sure that's a you sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies. Not like zombies that's, that's what I'm gonna give her. It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Well Hey, okay, I'm gonna read like the inner thoughts in my voice. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. Fair enough. Like, fair enough. There's been a slight breeze. Feels good against my neck. But this guy... But this, but this guy looks like he wants to say something. So... Guess this is kind of strange. Being asked after three whole days, but what's what's your name anyway? Right. We never introduced ourselves. It's oh, I can give her a name. Um, <laughs> huh. <laughs> I want to do something funny, but I can tell this game is kind of serious. Um, Sammy. Let's go Sammy. Sammy. Oh, it's nice to officially meet you, Sammy. I regret that name now. <laughs> Names. Uh, Cal. Cal. Okay. He looked dissatisfied. How was he expecting me to react? It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a cow. I continue staring out the window. The sky is so red. 
Normally I think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing me. But things things come out after dark. I remember that all too well. I'd rather think about that, so I decided to break the, the silence after all. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Um, oh, you look surprised. I guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, uh, you know, this and that. Hey, I, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna give him this voice. Yeah, that's gonna be his voice. I've never really settled in into one one thing in particular. What does that mean? Oh, oh, there are dialogue options. Okay, I didn't know that. That was weird. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about talk talk about it. <laughs> I wonder what his job was. Maybe he was a trash collector. He does look kind of dirty. Well, I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Um, yeah. Well, it's really my dad's car, or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Dad got the the third that third DUI. His license was revoked. He he used that as an excuse to never leave the house. It was just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. <laughs> I guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. I wonder if that Ka Calus. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perseverance. Is that what that says? Perspective. Pers whatever that says. It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Huh. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take a hint already. Surprisingly, not that much noise at the end of the world. Still. Do you think there's any any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look though. I reached towards the console and turned the radio dial in, in one direction. There's nothing but static. Sometimes a uh, metallic screeching. Great. Hang on, go back, go back down. What did he hear exactly? There couldn't have been something there. Could there be? I slowly rotate the knob back to the other way and wait. There there it is. I think. Music. Is that what's that? Is that what that says? My mariachi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe out of all the music that could be playing, this is what we get? What am I thinking? Of course it is. Of course we're on a, a highway to heck in the dark. And mariachi music is the only music available to us. The, the combination of Spanish vocals and horns 
on the on the track is com completely ridiculous right now. I'm actually dying. The deuce tones this fabulous man are actually killing me. That's not what I was expecting. Who the heck is out? Who the heck is out there running this? Of all the music that would be left, man. It takes a minute to settle down, but then. Wait. Is that the same song again? Uh, this is probably gonna be an endless loop because why wouldn't it be typical? Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. The undead are really exact uh, DJing. You'd think he a zombie. Wait, uh, I cannot read when I play these types of games. What do you think a zombie even listen to? Is is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob. Oh, why do you have to answer Rob Zombie? Rom Zombie or they're all into metal bands these days. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think Grateful Dead seems more apt. Apt. You know, I've always wondered this. What are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? Wish they'd let let the rest of us have some. Ain't a bad. Ain't so bad now, right now, anyway. Well, except for that. He gestures towards the console. One zero point one is now the infinite loop on the Roger radio station. So, w what are you into, anyway? Music-wise? Okay, I don't know how You, uh, and... Don't tell me it's baby metal. Well, if you judge me for saying... Wait, if you judge me... Will you judge me if I say actually haven't heard of them? Nope. That might be for the best. He doesn't have to know that I uncon... Un... Unironically like baby metal. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Merrily or something, but well, you'll probably actually judge me for this. Uh, try, try me, Abba. That's funny because in choir we're singing an ABBA song. Well, the women's choir is. Oh my goodness. I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I lose it. Everything just is just, it's just too much. He looks kind of sullen. I'm sorry, Cal. But not, not that sorry. <laughs> Told you. No, 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 it's fine. They're, they're, <laughs> their music's catchy. I managed to get those words out. 
Actually, Apple does have good music on a lot. Dancing Queen, Mamma Mia. They're not that bad. All this laughing is making my stomach hurt more. Dang it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you, anyway? You seem to be... a bit young for... Atlas, or what that says. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question except for one except for that one I'm 22 hmm what kind of reaction is that wow you look so young or anything like that wonder how old Cal is anyway this music is similar to ABBA's ABBA is isn't it all peppy and stuff. You should be happy to have it. That's sure an optimistic, optimistic take on it. All right, enough of you. Oh, I, thought could, I was out expecting to go. Okay, enough of you. Swerve the car, make her hit her head on the window. He purposefully reaches over and shuts off the radio. He got surprised. He's got a surprisingly immature side to him, too. Do you think, do you expect things to end up, did you expect things to end up this way? What, where did that come from all of a sudden? Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. Wait, was that her or him? I don't know. I'm a bit, surp a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without street lights and all. It's like the sky is just saving it up. Looks like a, a bit like a dying fire. That sounds kind of morbid, but... Kind of fitting for the end of the world. It's silent again for a while, but it did, doesn't last. So, you never really told me what it is you it is that you do. I mean, doesn't ha it doesn't have to be a job or anything, just, well, hmm. What do you like to do? Like, what did you do before everything? Like to do, huh? Turn my eyes to the window as I think of, on my life. Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work, get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before before passing out. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. And after leading such a boring life, I ended up here. I'm probably not even gonna go out with a bang. My death is going to be as dull as my life. I guess that'd be most people's story. It's tough out there. What well, a struggle, probably to get tougher now <laughs> all kind of pointless in the end isn't it you would work your butt t but you'd work your dang tail off and everything goes to the pot anyway to pot anyway and you just wonder 
Why didn't I s spit? Why didn't you spend your time better? You know. That's deep. That's actually how I feel about it too. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or a or bad person. We're all gonna die anyway. So, what about you? I'm sure you didn't spread all, spend all your time listening to ABBA. I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. Uh, uh, what? I suppose you could call me a bit of a n nomad. Did he backpack across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Oh, well, whatever. That sounds really cliche. Not really. Sort of suits you. To tell you the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, or, or you sort of lose yourself to get to a dark place. Got to, got to, got to, got to point, got to the point. I used to wish I could take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? I used to wish for that too. I wanted to be free. I didn't know, I didn't want to be responsible for, for dad anymore. And now I'm not. But I can't say I'd rather whether th that's a good thing or not. Wishes never do come true. They, the way they, wait, the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, monkey's paw. My stomach starts to thump painfully. I look down and press my hand against it. It felt okay for a while there, but it's acting up again. Gosh, why did it, why did all this have to happen? Feeling nauseous? Hmm? Dang, I shouldn't have been so obvious about it. I don't want to cause any trouble. This, this might be causing even more trouble though. Uh, yeah. It's gotten a little better, but... Anyways, I moved my hand away from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there will make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel the pain, I know I'm still alive. That's what... That, that was morbid as heck. What is wrong with me? I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I think you should. You think we should stop and rest? I gla gla glance at the fuel go gauge, gauge on the dashboard, nervous. We barely have a fourth of a tank left as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would be a waste of gas. Onwards it is. Trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless roads stretched out ahead of us. What is wrong with her? Is she bit? Is she like infected? It really hurts now. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. And just and 
mine is blanked. And that's saying a lot considering I have to go through each month. Ah, dang. <laughs> I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought, I brought it upon myself. Do you even wonder, like, why us? Why did we make it this far? And is this really such a good thing, that we are still alive? From the moment I swung that baseball bat and sealed my own fate, just as I start to sink into real dark thoughts, I can I hear Cal's voice. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stopped and wondered what my own life is worth, I it's da it's a dangerous train of thought. I'll tell you what, we're here. That's what matters. Despite it all. We're here, and we're safe. And how and why of it's just the garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at all first. I mean, we were facing the apocalypse or whatever. The first couple months I just kept working Kept like everything was fine. Then I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then Dad, how do I even how do I even explain? Listen, you ain't, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want. But your old man, what happened? My dad, I killed him. Smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like heck. Huh. He needed m more beer, right? Of course he did. He's a, he was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore. He wandered off to another one just so happened that the part now was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he was really any different in, from usual. But does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? No. Does it count as murder if you get, get arrested because your town Pounds. What? That was pretty pathetic, huh? But, so my dad was, and so am I. In the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain now and guilt. I stare out the window seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? Though, that hasn't changed since I, since the way since I was before, I guess. Hey. I feel a sudden warmth on the top of my hand. Hesitant at first, then steady. Hal's hand have also en envelops mine. I feel comforted, safe. We're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might get any better. It'd be it'd, it'd be stupid to assume they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy, huh? Isn't it, huh? Anyway, I'm sorry about your dad. I mean, even if you didn't get along with him, it must have been hard losing someone that close to you. 
Wow. Where do I even start? Honest. We're gonna be honest. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Cal. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Somehow. My mouth opens all on its own and words spill out. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. And when I f and then I felt awful for feeling relieved. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just felt free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling or freedom for long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all this to someone else. It really does. But that's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know that the on I'm only human. I'm not a monster. Not yet, anyway. I guess I'm almost privileged not to... Not... No one I care about has been around in a long time. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if there's anyone stuck out here like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Cal, I... I can't go on like this, keeping it to myself. Hey, Cal. There's something I need to tell you. I touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. The spearing pain reminds me that I'm no longer eternal entirely human. I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. I didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could, and then he bit me in the stomach. Parting gift as he crumbled onto the ground. Even in death, my dad still found some way to. to uh, I can't talk. I. Hey, stop. It's okay. I always blame dad for mom leaving us. He was selfish, he was a butthole. He was this, he was that, but just look at me, I have, I've put Cal's life in danger, I lied to him since the day we, we met, I'm, I'm my father's daughter, but I, just, keep calm, alright? We don't even really know how this works at all, so... Maybe there's still a way? I'm... I'm so sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure that has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, I look down at my, st I look, I look down at my, I look down at my stomach. I might think I just imagined it. But I wish, I wish I was dreaming right now. 
I wish this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes. Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting here in a car beats having customers or a manager yell at me. Silver lining. <sighs> Retail? Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. Anyways, you should you should sleep if you want to. You'll we'll probably be on this road for a while. A while, huh? Arrest does sound nice. I always had to get up so early for work. I'm not used to being up this late. I'm s I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. You'll wait me if anything happens. My mind flashes to the baseball bat still in my trunk. No, I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, you gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there at any rate. Yeah, maybe there'll even be a, a station that plays Atlas and ABBA. Maybe, maybe I've been running ever since mom left. I never looked back. I, I just kept going. It was all I could do to keep my, keep from falling apart. Cal and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten far and than I've ever thought possible. I noticed that the fuel gauge light is on, but I still feel strangely at peace. I close my eyes smiling at, at the consequences already stars to drop to sleep. Whenever, wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived. The proof of that will remain no matter what. For now, let's just keep going forward. Oh, that was something. <sighs> oh, that was something. Oh, that was so cool. I would like to go back and see his perspective, though. I would be curious to see his... I think I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't think I, I don't think it be really wise to go see from the other perspective. I don't know. Did Jack do that? I'm curious if Jack Septicai did that. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm just gonna go to his video real quick. I'm not gonna do it either, guys. I'm just curious if he did. But dang, that was such a good game. Dang, that was intense, and I, but I really, really liked it. Yeah, he didn't do it twice either. Oh, that was so neat though. Oh, I really, really enjoyed this. 
that was so cool but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please tap the like button down below subscribe leave me a comment and link to all my social media link on the description below and do not forget the notification buttons so you're notified when i upload these sweet sweet videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>